get ready with me while i give you guys two reasons why i would allow my husband to have two wives hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm getting ready to go on vacation and i decided i'm gonna do some tribal braids in my hair i just took my tapings out and i clip washed my hair clip my ends all that stuff so now I'm gonna do some tribal braids at the front and then you guys know I've been loving my clip-ins. So I'm just gonna put my clip-ins at the back so I can take them out, put them back in as I'm on vacation. My hair is already in the middle part because I just did a video of a middle part. And I'm just gonna part from like back here. I do have like a ball spot. I don't know where it came from, but I do have a little tiny ball spot up here. I got some grays too. But I'm gonna part from maybe right here, down behind my ears. Okay. Now let's line it up. this out the way to a little ponytail so the, this is going to be all out and then i'm going to put my curly extensions in there and that's just going to be that normally for a style like this people would probably put like some knotless braids at the back but it's already too late and i really just don't want to go through that process so i'm going to see if i can fly through these like it's too much because i'm supposed to do three braids going down right here but i just feel like this is way too much space from here to here for three braids let me see if i break it up see one braid two braids. see that leaves room for four so i really just kind of want the part to be right here um, but I also don't want it to be too short um, in the top, so I kind of do want it back a little bit some. So I'm just going to fix that. All right, this going to have to do. So we're going to do go with this. Yeah, I think this is good enough. And like I said, I'm going to do three braids going down. So I want it to be around right here. It still looks big, but whatever. I'm not gonna move it. So I got a big old tub. <laughs> I got a big old tub of neat braids. They didn't have the smaller jar. My daughter made sense. She was like, why don't you just get the big one so you don't have to keep coming back all the time? So I got the big one. It's a, it ran me around 60, 62.99 for it. And it's neat braids gel. Right now I'm really liking this one. You guys know I use a few of them, but right now I really am liking this brand. y'all already know these precision combs are from my website they are still on sale hopefully by the time i put this video up it's still on sale but for now right now as i'm talking it's on sale <laughs> Ain't gonna be no stitch braids, y'all. Listen, <laughs> I'm doing the best I can with these. Trying to knock them out as fast as I can.
I really don't like this space right here, but I'm gonna keep going. I went ahead and parted the third one because I want them all to be equal and this is left over so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect it up and take off even more off the top. Yeah, I really don't want to do four. I'm just going to do the three because I don't want anything falling behind my ear because, you know, the hair needs to be out and fluffed up. Alright, so now this braid is going to be like a crossover braid and I did take this little piece off to have some type of wispy baby hair going. Maybe something like this. I really don't have natural baby hair so if I don't pull them out I'll end up pulling them in my braids and my edges are really soft. So they're easy to come out and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to pull these out and then this braid right here is going to be like a, a mini, mini crossover braid. So it's going to like crisscross. It's already starting to look really nice. I'm loving it so far. I might have one go straight, but I definitely want two to fall like this. So I'm gonna, let me see this middle part right here. If I have it fall, that's kind of too much falling for it to go all the way from the middle to 
all the way over here. So I'm gonna make one going straight this way. And then once I get up here, I'm gonna have this go like this, and then it's just gonna fall like that. Y'all, how cute is this so far? I'm so obsessed with this. It's not even done, not even halfway done. And it's already like, I love that I did this braid right here. I, I left out a little bit more hair. And once I put some mousse on this, it's gonna curl up some, but these are just so cute so far. My dilemma, honestly, y'all, is if this hair that I'm putting in, is it going to match my clip-ins? They're not the same texture, but I figure like once I wet this, maybe like it won't look so far apart as far as texture and stuff. But if it is, I'm just going to cut these out because I'm not going to be looking crazy. But this is what's making the style right now. But it's so cute. So what I'm going to do is before I move on from here, because I kind of want to go from here like this, from here like this, and then maybe do like a crossover or something like that, right? All right, Jess, so I did these three, so it's coming along. So I'm gonna continue on and braid the crossover braid and then the one braid, and then I'll come back on and start braiding again for you guys. But so far, this is how it's looking, it's super cute. So I'm just gonna braid this part. I'm gonna line it up. Sometimes I could stop and redo it when I mess up, but honestly, I don't feel like it. I feel like it's still gonna look fine. Nobody's looking that close at it. So I'm just gonna keep going. This one does not look the best compared to the one over here, but like I said, I'm just gonna keep going, y'all. I don't think anybody gonna be up on my face like that. Remember y'all, y'all need to put some jam on this little stuff so that it doesn't stick out that much. And you just wanna pull the long hair out and just keep braiding. Get ready with me while I give you guys two reasons why I would allow my husband to have two wives.
That's what some girl talking about tonight. Huh? I'm about to tell them two reasons why I've allowed you to have two wives. You a motherfucking lie. Okay, y'all, we are finally on the last one, which is this tiny one right here. And I am so tired, but it looks so good. I can't wait to wet these and curl them. I know they're not gonna give me that much curl. They're gonna give me like a wave, um, but we're just gonna see how they look with the back of the hair done. <laughs> it's two different, completely different curls, but we're just gonna see how it looks. As for the information for the curls, guys, I had these um, microlink hair sent to me a long, 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 long time ago. And I installed them in someone's hair, but I had some leftovers. And I basically just cut them off the links. And so it's not really much details I can give you guys about this hair that I'm using because like I said, it, it, I cut it off. I was improvising and I just cut it off some microlink hair that I got. So I just don't have anything to really recommend to you guys for it. But it is human hair. It's not synthetic, so I'm gonna be able to dip these so that it can loosen up the braids. Some of these are a little stiff, so when I dip it in some hot water, they're gonna loosen up a little bit and be able to like move and stuff. That's my baby, y'all. She has to make it known that she's around. <laughs>
oh my gosh y'all this look a hot ass mess i can't believe it like the hair does not blend the braids are cute the back is cute but the blending is killing this style i'm late for the airport and so i'm trying to figure out what to do with it so i'm like like i said before i was gonna just cut these out honestly i felt like i needed to cut some of the hair off the clippings and added it into the braids i could have crocheted in but i did not have any time i woke up late i was already late for the airport so i just had to cut off the little long pieces that was looking a hot ass mess and just do what i could to fix it and so I ended up just wearing it in like a ponytail the entire time or like a clip back in my little claw clips. And it turned out okay. Like I looked okay once the makeup was on and I was like dressed up. It looked fine, but absolutely not the greatest idea I had to blend this. And this is a lesson, y'all. Even if you're a braider for however many years, you can still mess up and things could not go right. And you just got to find a way to make it work. I was already late. There was no way to fix it. And so this is what I had to do. I had to cut all that stuff off. I had to cut all the hair that just didn't work and didn't blend off. And I just wore it in a ponytail or in my claw clips the entire time. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sorry I put, brought y'all through this entire video just for these results right here. You know, not all results are gonna be amazing, y'all, on my channel. So just let me know what you think. It still looks cute to me, but that is killing me. Like, I didn't know the texture would just fall flat like that. I really thought it was gonna do some type of wavy curl or something and it just did not so right now i'm just gonna put some baby hair down and do whatever i can to kind of spruce it up but i did feel like wow this is crazy how like this is not what i imagined wearing my hair like i imagined wearing it out the entire time but like i said i rocked it in a ponytail i'm gonna insert some pictures at the end of that I rocked it in a ponytail for some days and then for other days I just kind of clipped the braids back into my claw clip but had the rest of the hair out and it still looked cute but not as cute as I initially planned it and all the amount of effort and time I put into braiding the front I really just kind of wanted to slay and it just you know as simple as the hair being the wrong texture really kind of like made a huge difference in the style but anyways if you've followed me or watched the video this far go ahead and subscribe to my channel go ahead and leave a comment let me know if the ending shocked you <laughs> um, um go ahead and you know subscribe if you haven't already i have more videos like these coming of me just styling my hair this is a new series that i'm going on and i want to just continue to drop videos of just doing it yourself and braiding your own hair and give me some ideas in the comments as well. If you, there's something that you've been seeing that you want me to try doing on myself, I am definitely open to it. But this is how the style looked, y'all. So thank you again for watching and staying tuned this entire time. This is how I looked with it pinned back. And this is how I was pinning it back <laughs> to keep it intact with the clippings. And this is how the claw clip looked at the back. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.